Slide on a pimp gang with my pinky ring. Lot of gang, lot of bitches in the icy chain. Why you claim that you're rich? That's a false claim. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. This is where it gets real. So, after summer shredding, I wanted to start bulking, wanted to start putting on some muscle, and I feel like a common mistake with everything, or in general, could be that, you know what, I'm just winging it. And for the past couple months, that's all I've been doing, is i kind of just been winging it, thinking that I can eat pretty much the same amount of stuff, and not be so lax on my cravings, and still be okay, as far as, you know, I knew that I was going to gain weight, I knew that I was going to put on some more fat again, and... I feel like it got a little bit out of control. You know, I was just happy that I didn't have to diet and everything I ate. In my mind, it was like I'm bulking. So, I had to get out of that mindset. I didn't really come into it with a specific plan. So, I'm going to basically, from now until the end of December, going to record just about as, as much as I can without it being so repetitive. Uh, just to kind of keep myself on track, trying to keep myself accountable with everything. And... Plus, I didn't put all that hard work in in the beginning for no reason. So the one thing I'm going to show you guys real quick is there was a 90-second clip that we had to make for Summer Shredding kind of detailing the two years progression that you kind of put in and where you kind of got to at this point. I had a little voiceover, just some clips with a voiceover and how far I made it. So I wanted to share that with you guys quick just to kind of remember that, hey, look, I put in some work. I did it. But now it's a, it's a different stage, a different part of, of the, I guess, grind. So enjoy. The definition of commitment, the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause, activity, etc. I decided to commit myself to a journey that I didn't know was going to be a lifestyle change at first. I started off by just being a bet between two friends ended up being more than I could have ever imagined. You get to a point in life where you get tired of looking in the mirror, you get tired of seeing that person every day and being disgusted with not being able to do anything about it or feeling like you can't do anything about it. Well, this time, this commitment was different. I looked in the mirror. I told myself, don't do it just for you anymore. Do it for the people around you. It's affecting your mood, it's affecting your behavior, it's affecting your attitude. But once you commit and realize that you're your only competition, anything is possible. Just looking at the changes over the years, sometimes it's hard to believe that I, I actually did it. And that doesn't mean that I'm done. It just means that I'm just getting started. Just looking through this, I couldn't be more happier to just explain and have everybody see just what can happen if you commit. All right, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. So just to kind of get myself on a steady track, I kind of had my last real like cheat days consecutively. And I say consecutively because I was really trying to get a cheat day on Sunday going where it was specifically just Sunday being my cheat day. But with being so lax in my diet, I would let cheat day be a common thing for me. So even though I was going to the gym not as consistently as I would like to, um, it just was it was catching up to me a little bit. I didn't want to get back to that old phase. So number one most important thing is the weekday now. I want to make sure that I eat breakfast every day, get that right amount of protein in my diet as I'm supposed to. Um, I got some meals prepped already for the week. Uh, take me to about Wednesday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what it is that I bought to help me stay consistent with my diet too. Um, very inexpensive meat that you can help prep for the week. So number one biggest thing is being more consistent with my diet. Number two is being able to get to the gym five times minimum, six times max, with Sunday being my rest day. And because football's back on, Sunday is a great day to have a rest day. So, diet and gym. 
So I there's more things that I want to add to that list, but I figure, you know what? Let me get the first two things out the way, then the rest will kind of fall in place. So I'll show you guys what I have set up here for my dinners. All right, so first thing on the list here today, so you see a lot of noodles, but there is chicken in there. Chicken, noodles, carbs, and protein there. It's it's in there. It's in it's it's in there. <laughs> the next thing I did is I prepped a whole bunch of chicken, cut up some chicken. There was more in there, but I divided it into more. I'll show you in a second. I divided it up into more meals. Uh, in here is chicken and rice. Brenda took some with her as well. Uh, doing it like this, prepping the meat and stuff like that, definitely helps everybody in the house. So, so that's going to be my meal uh, for today and tomorrow. And then what I will do is I will show you the meat that I used to help prep. Like I said, it's gonna it's like ten bucks for six real big thick chicken breasts, and there's a ground beef. I forget how how much how big it is, but I'll show you guys too. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to record as much as I can to help keep my diet consistent. Make sure that I'm staying on track. Make sure that this bulk isn't gonna be more of a mistake than anything else, and. You guys are going to see, I'm going to go ahead and weigh in for you guys. I didn't get to weigh in this morning, but I will weigh in tomorrow morning for you guys so that you can see where I'm at. And we're just going to continue kicking it off from there. So, What's going on, everybody? So what I decided to is I'm going to name this series. We're going to do a series here until the end of the bulk. It's going to be called Real Grind, Real Struggles. We are grind through the struggle. Everybody has their own grind. Everybody has their own struggle. And this is my Real Grind, Real Struggle, episode one. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, thank you very much. I appreciate it. No, it wasn't a longer video, but like I said, I'm going to try to document as much as I can on how I'm progressing through this bulk. So crazy gym hair, or crazy hair, morning hair. I went to the gym already. One of the parts of the Real Grind, Real Struggle is that everybody has, for the most part, the majority of us have jobs and my job is I have to be on call sometimes so with being on call I'm not really able to go to the gym at night in the event that I would get a call for my job that I got to take care of right away so not too many issues come up in the morning time so that's why I gotta gotta get up and grind and I am already done by 535 I woke up at 415 hit the gym came back today with shoulders for me so about to hit you guys with a weigh-in I'm gonna clean this up here too look a little rough Hit you guys with a weigh-in. I'm already nervous. I already have an idea of what I think it's going to weigh. I know I already hit the 180s. I'm going from 164 back in June. So, you know, that's why I'm saying we had to we had to get back on track. The weight was coming on a little bit faster than what I wanted it to. So, let's hit this weigh-in. Show you guys what I'm weighing in at. Yeesh. It says it says 187.4 now 187.4 that's that's rough it's rough let me step on it again see if it'll change it did change 184.4 okay let's do it a third time See that. It was 184.4 again. 184.4. Okay. So for that first 187 one, honestly I would have been sorry I would have started crying right here on camera, but 184.4 is what it I'll do it again for you. Looks like I need a new studio. So 184.0 So I think 184-ish, we're going to say. Um, the problem with <laughs> my real life real struggles is my floor in the bathroom is not all the way even. There's a couple tiles that it's just about even, so I got to try to get it in the same spot 
every single time, which what I did right now. So if you see here in the middle of the of the scale, there's like a like a square. That's kind of how I have to line it up every time I do the weigh-in to try to make it consistent. Got to put it in the same exact spot. So the first time it wasn't exactly in the same spot, but you know, real life, real struggles. So this will conclude episode one. Thank you guys for sticking around. Everything else to come about this whole journey continuing in later videos. So as of right now, take care of this and I'll catch you guys on the next one.